So I've done a lot of videos about Vim on my channel and a lot of you guys are trying out Vim. You're new to Vim and you launch it for the very first time and you can't exit. You're trapped inside of Vim. Some of you guys are sending me messages and emails saying that you've been inside Vim trapped there for days, weeks, sometimes years. I got an elderly lady emailing me the other day saying that, you know, in most of her graphical programs that she's used to, she could just hit escape on the keyboard and, and get out of her programs. But she's hit escape thousands of times inside Vim and it's not doing anything for her. I have a lot of X windows users that are coming to Linux and to Vim and they are hitting control all delete and it does nothing in Vim and they can't understand why. So today I wanted to cover briefly several methods that you can use to escape out of Vim. So let me open up a terminal here and I'm going to launch something in Vim. You know what? I'll just launch my bash RC. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see what's going on. And say you launched Vim for the very first time. How do you get out of it? Well, there's a very easy command. All you need to remember, and this is very easy to remember, type colon exclamation point X kill and hit enter. And your mouse turns into a skull and crossbones. Hit the Vim window and it goes away. Now let me relaunch Vim. I'll show you a, a different method you could also use. Let's open up a second terminal and run htop and look for Vim, or in my case, NeoVim, somewhere in the list of running processes. Scroll down here a bit, and I see nvim dash bash rc. So that's NeoVim running my bash rc. If I just highlight that, and I hit F9, and then just hit enter for the sig term, it's already got it uh, chosen by default, just hit enter. And my Vim instance, you notice it closed. It's just back to the standard shell prompt here in the terminal. Now, another really cool thing you can do if trying to exit Vim once you're already in it is too complicated, you're afraid maybe you'll forget the command, you can actually tell Vim to exit even before you launch it. So let me zoom in here because this is a very important command here. Let me clear the screen. All you need to do, guys, is write time out, then give it a time. I'll give it 60 seconds and then Vim bash RC. And there, you don't have to worry about exiting. In 60 seconds, this will exit. So uh, be sure to get all your work done within 60 seconds. Make sure you save because it will not save for you. But you, you never have to remember, you know, two capital Z's or colon WQ or whatever it is you're trying to write to get out of Vim. We've already taken care of the exit process. And just to prove that this timeout 60 seconds does work, I'm timing it. And we just give it a few more seconds here. So the timeout was very successful. So that's what I would do if I was afraid that I, I can't remember the exit commands. I would just use a timeout. Now, another thing you could do, you could actually buy certain products that will help you exit Vim for you. There is actually this really cool project hosted over on GitHub called the Vim Killer. It makes exiting Vim a whole lot easier. You can see the little blurb here at the top of the Vim Killer page. Exiting Vim is hard. Sometimes we need to take drastic measures. And what he has done is he has taken a single board computer, you know, something like a Pi or he's using an Arduino board and he is created this little computer, this little mini computer with a red button on it. That's the kill button. You plug this into the machine that's got some running Vim instances and you press the, the button and it kills all the instances of Vim that are running on that machine. Right now, all you need to do is send the author $500,000 US and this little device can be yours. Looks like a really active project. The last commit was only about five months ago. Uh, let's check out some of the issues people are having. It, does it seem to work? Uh, we had one guy says it doesn't kill NeoVim, so we might have to do some messing around with it to get NeoVim to work with this device. And one guy created this issue here. Price should be raised. Let's read exactly what he's suggesting here. He says that this device was really an act of magnanimous generosity and you're charging far too less. Please raise your price from 500,000 US to 750,000 US in his opinion. So guys, if you don't have the Vim killer, because he may you know, decide to do that. Right now, it's only 500,000 US. I would buy one now before he does bump it up to 750. And just very briefly, I want to discuss a couple of other methods that have worked for me in the past. Sometimes powering off the computer will help you exit Vim. I have unplugged the computer a couple of times to exit Vim. That also works. 
uh, switching the main breaker off the power of your house. That also works. You could also just leave them open until you buy a new computer. That's what most Emacs users do. And there is one other method that it works every single time to exit Vim. I don't recommend this, but it is an option. Damn. He's kicking it when it's down. <laughs> 